Hello everybody, welcome to another Valheim video. Today uh, we're going to be pushing the limits of what you think is possible on a vanilla Valheim server. Everything that you're about to see is completely possible, even if the players connecting have no mods installed at all. And I know you're not going to believe me when you see this, so I'll show you how it works at the end of the video. But for now, let's shatter your preconceptions. We'll start here with the goblins. These little buggers are real fun to fight, and they're some of my favorite parts of Valheim. But you know, after a while, you're gonna find that there's just black metal ore absolutely everywhere. You're gonna be surrounded with the stuff. So what if there was a magic word that you could learn that converts some of the black metal into iron? Something that we're always running out of. I've gathered up 30 of these black metal scraps, and I'm just gonna toss them on the floor here. You can see there are black metal scraps right there. And now all I'm gonna do is abracadabra. And then boom, did you see that? This is now 15 scrap iron. Yeah, isn't that crazy? And here, I'll show you again. You toss the 30 black metal on the floor, you say abracadabra, and it turns into 15 scrap iron. Basically, the word abracadabra turns black metal into half the amount of iron. This is a mechanical change to the gameplay that is applied to all people who play on the server without any mods installed. But before I explain it, I'll show you some more of this nonsense. You see this fireball staff on my back? Well, let's just say that it's more than just a fire weapon. On this server, it's a terrain modification tool. You want to clear the way? Well, all you got to do is blast stuff enough. The fireball staff has been converted to also apply a troll's ground pound that only applies to material, enabling players to have a much faster way of clearing paths and mining later on in the game. You can use it to effectively mine large chunks of various things and get them out of the way much faster than using a pickaxe. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying these are all balanced things. These obviously are very powerful stuff. The point of this video is to cause you to question yourself. Do you really know what the limitations on a vanilla Valheim server actually are? Because I'm gonna show you some more of this kind of stuff that's doable, and if you're anything like me, it'll absolutely shock you what is actually possible. Here's another example of this. Have you ever noticed how sailing down rivers in Valheim is incredibly fun? But unfortunately, the Black Forest is full of all these rocks in the rivers, and sometimes they're really in the way, like you crash into them and you have to get rid of them, but there's no effective way to do that because the water stops you from mining, so there's situations where your boat's not going to be able to pass effectively making people just avoid sailing down Black Forest River. But something available early on is the ooze bomb, which is a throwable weapon. What if the ooze bomb cleared rocks that you could deal with from your ship? You see that, you see that guy over there? Let's see how this goes. We just toss a couple of these and then boom, that rock is no more, allowing our ship to easily pass. And these are just a couple examples. This is by no means all the things that you can do. So it's time to unveil the secret. How is this possible on a server that vanilla clients can connect to who will also experience the same things, even if they are the only one online? You see, it's all thanks to this incredible server-side mod by Jerry. As usual, thank you so much, Jerry. You have enabled so many people to do more with Valheim. And I hope that with this video and some more videos, we can make it so more people are aware of the things that are possible, because it looks like people just don't know. Expand World Prefabs is a server-side mod. That means that your clients do not need to install it. The Expand World mod adds these YAML text files, which you can edit to alter how existing mechanics function. But don't be misled, it's not quite as simple as it sounds, because Valheim is a client-run game. You can't change what's in people's inventories, you can't even see it, but you can make the server react to things that the client spawns and des and various statuses and conditions 
that they go into. Essentially, you can take vanilla Valheim assets and use vanilla Valheim triggers to cause new things to happen. This looks a lot more complicated than it actually is. You can ignore all of these files except expand data and expand prefabs. The way it works is you add these, they're almost like scripts to this text file. We can see here that this is part of the script, let's say, that's necessary so that the black metal converts into iron. Let's look at what this part of the script does. This covers the conversion, the abracadabra magic word, that converts black metal into half the amount of iron. We can see we have 30 black metal on the ground in front of us. If I get a little bit closer to it and say the magic word, abracadabra, we see, we see that the black metal disappears and in its place, 15 iron shows up. All of the scripts necessary to do that is shown from here in expand prefabs, but you also need to add some changes in the expand data file. And those changes are right here. The name metal stack 30, the name metal stack 15. If you copy paste this into your expand data file and this into your expand prefabs file, then the same thing will happen on your server as long as expand world prefabs is installed. Keep in mind what I just showed you is just the text for the refined bars to be converted. You also need to make one for the scrap metal to be converted as well. But in the interests of how long this video would be if I showed every little detail, right now I'm just focused on showing you what is possible. And I by no means am proficient in this yet. I'm doing everything I can to learn about it because it's so fascinating, but most of what I've shown you has been taught to me by the people on the Discord server. You can scroll down on most of Jerry's mods and find the Discord here. This is going to take you to the Valheim World Editing Discord, which is incredibly useful if you're interested in this kind of stuff. You can go to this config share section here. There's a bunch of stuff that's being worked on, and it's really amazing what people are able to come up with. So don't be too intimidated, because you don't need to become a programmer to use EWP. For the most part, you can figure out what you want to do, and then find somebody who will help you make it, and then copy-paste it. However, if you really want to get into it, you can learn how it really works, and trust me, it's very rewarding to do so, especially if you're interested in taking more control of what you can do on your Valheim server. And I encourage you to join the Discord group and try and learn more about it. The Discord community here has taught me everything that I've learned that you've seen in the video. It's really incredible stuff. And speaking of Valheim servers, if you want to rent your own Valheim server, consider using my link jpvalheim at zap hosting. Renting your own Valheim server is a really fascinating way to add a couple more thousand hours of Valheim under your belt. Because if you've gotten used to how the game works normally, and you think you have some ideas for how you could change that, well, you can make a server that works that way. You can alter the rules of the game. It's really fascinating, and I encourage you to check it out. I'm still just beginning to scratch the surface on what is possible with this Expand World Prefabs mod. That's it for this video, everybody. If you want YouTube to show you more Valheim content, then just like this video or any other video about Valheim, and then you'll find more of those videos showing up in your feed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!